guys don't want a long intro, so let's just get right on into the video. I just want to get one thing straight, and it's that I don't want the title to come across as me being like, oh, I'm the best YouTuber out there. I'm the way every YouTuber should do every single little thing on their videos. Like, I'm right, everyone else is wrong. This is not meant to be taken as I'm better than anyone, that I know more than anyone. This is just, you guys have asked a lot, a lot of times like how to grow your channel, how to get people to watch your videos and you know when I was starting out I would always watch these videos because there was just so much that I didn't know that I really did want to learn. I'm not trying to say I'm the best because I'm not, I don't think anyone is the best except Casey Neistat. With my YouTube story I have been doing YouTube for almost four years in December, it will be four years. I started when I was in eighth grade and it was because I found YouTube videos when I was in seventh grade. It was a Katy Perry makeup tutorial. And you know, before YouTube, I was always very interested in makeup and I actually never, ever, 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 ever went on YouTube. I hated YouTube because I thought it was a very weird place with like cat animals and people throwing up and like just weird, weird videos on YouTube. So I never really went on it, but I did for whatever reason and I remember watching it and I was like, this is the coolest video ever. And so I kept watching a bunch of videos and I came across All That Glitters 21 and she was doing a look with the Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette. And then I started watching Blair religiously and Blair became my favorite makeup guru ever. I absolutely loved Juicy Star 07. She was really who I learned a lot of my makeup tips from in the beginning. This was at the time when she was moving from her pink room to her blue room. So like if that gives you guys like a gist of when I started watching her YouTube videos, that was when that was happening. But I would watch all of her old videos and I had no idea that like it was a current form of media at the time. I thought it was kind of just like these girls who put videos online and I don't, I didn't really know what it was from. I didn't really, you know, think people made money off this or had fame or anything. I remember how astonished I was when I looked at um, her channel and I saw that she posted a video like a day ago. I was like, oh my god, like this is a thing that people do. And I had no idea that girls you know, put makeup videos online just for other girls to watch, just for the fun of it. And like, I just had no idea about that. So that was really cool to me and that's how I got introduced to YouTube and the community that I'm in. Like I said in the beginning, I've always had a real fascination with makeup. I've always loved everything in beauty. I would watch makeup videos for about a year all the time. I would make little videos on my laptop. So I would record myself on the Uvu video chat camera and just save it for myself and I would just watch them and pretend like I was talking to people and I remember saying this to myself, I was like, if I ever have a YouTube channel, I will definitely start off with, hey guys, what's up? Beginning of eighth grade, I remember I was so into makeup that I would make playlists of tutorials that I really liked and I would do them before school every morning. And my mom was like, you should make a YouTube channel, like if you really like uh, makeup, like I see girls upload to YouTube, like you should do it. And I was like, yeah, you're right. For me, it's always been a very organic thing. Like I've loved YouTube since my teen years. Um, not even preteen, I guess this was like when I was 12, I really started liking makeup and YouTube and stuff. So for me, I think I came into the angle of YouTube a lot differently than people do now. People now realize that like you can get famous off of it, you can make money off of it. And it's not as organic anymore and it's kind of corrupted. So that's the difference and that actually brings me to my first tip, which is you have to absolutely love what you do. Like I was saying, I've just seen a lot of girls approach it very wrong and they do this because they want the fame that it gives, they want followers, they want money, um, they want to be somebody. You're not doing it because of the factors that can, ha that can come from a channel. And just because you have a YouTube channel doesn't mean you're going to be famous. It doesn't mean you're going to have a lot of money. Think about it this way. Think of the Olympic Games. There are so many professional athletes that have fame and money and followers from, you know, being an athlete. That doesn't mean just because someone is an athlete that you should be an athlete too to get the fame and the money and the followers. They're an athlete because they love swimming or they love playing soccer and just because they love it and it's successful for them doesn't mean 
that you're gonna love it and it's gonna be successful for you. So that tip I just can't stress enough. You have to absolutely love what you do. My second tip, once you get past the fact of, you know, I love what I do, I'm now making content, is that try to make each video better than the last one that you just put out. I am not saying that you have to have the best equipment in the whole world. If you make every video better than your last, it shows that you are progressing as a YouTuber, as an editor, as a filmmaker, as whatever we're going to title YouTubers being. You know, maybe you notice that you didn't make a cut as close as you should have in your last video and you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do tighter cuts on this video. It's the work of progression that counts. So once you're continually making videos, it's important to be consistent with your uploads. Something about the internet, and even about life in general, is out of sight, out of mind. If you're gonna take a month break, try and you know pre-record and pre-upload your videos so that you don't leave people hanging. So it's best to have a video schedule. I started an uploading schedule maybe a year and a half ago. On Thursdays, I was like, okay, Thursday will be my day because I can have the weekends to film, I can edit for three days on the weeknights, and then Fridays I won't have to worry about working, it will be a break. It just really helps viewers feel connected to you, and it's kind of like when their favorite show comes back on, they know what day it's on, and then they can look forward to that day, and it's fun, and then people start tweeting you, when's your video coming out today, and that drives up Twitter attention, and it makes people, you know, their followers go to your page and check you out, so it really does help having consistent uploads, and just having that relationship between your viewers and yourself, knowing that you know they can trust you and you can trust them. And that brings me to my next point, which is stay humble. I have met a lot of people where the fame that they get from YouTube or the money that they get or the amount of followers that they have really gets to their head. And it's very sad to see. You just have to remember why you started YouTube. Something that really made me feel uncomfortable was when I went to my first playlist live. It was in Orlando. I just remember everyone calling all of the attendees who went there fans. And it made me very uncomfortable because you guys aren't fans. You guys are viewers. You watch our videos and you support us. I think that just hearing the simple word fan really gives the wrong idea to people. This is kind of tying back into the first point and it is to stay true to yourself. When it comes to staying true to yourself, let's use a beauty guru example right now. When I first started, makeup was the big thing. And then, you know, morning routine started getting popular, night routine started getting popular, so girls started doing night routines and morning routines. And then it became um, expectation versus reality got super popular, and now it's like lifestyle stuff. I noticed that a lot of people were starting to like these lifestyle videos, so I wanted to give you guys videos that I thought you would all like. Many things was wrong about that. The first, I absolutely hate filming them. I hated editing those videos. And third of all, I wasn't that happy with the videos, but I knew that a lot of people liked it, so I started making them. My views didn't increase, if anything, they got lower, my subscriber count slowed down, and I was getting frustrated. I was like, why is this happening? And then I realized, I hate lifestyle videos. You know, if you want to watch a good lifestyle video, Ava will give you a good lifestyle video. Go watch Ava's videos, they're amazing, but like, I'm your makeup girl, you know, come to me for makeup, you can go to someone else for lifestyle. And just because YouTube trends are working for other people does not mean it's gonna work for you. If anything, it can make you not like what you do anymore. So you gotta like what you do. Everyone has this idea that YouTubers are rich and that YouTubers don't work for their money. There have been multiple, multiple times where I have turned down a lot of money because it makes me look like a sellout, it doesn't go with my channel, it doesn't I don't like the product, that's probably the biggest reason, because I don't like the product, I don't support it, I don't want you guys to buy it, and I don't want to lose your trust. I wish you guys could see how I'm sitting right now, I'm like sitting crisscross applesauce, like I'm really comfortable and I want to keep talking to you guys, but my mouth is getting dry, so I should probably stop this right now, plus I have to edit another video and go to the gym, so. I love you, I hope that this helped, um, if it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also let me know any other tips that you guys have. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I just wanted to, again, thank you guys just for everything you do for me. It's unreal. So thank you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!